Brandon, the RV guru, and I'm down at Mr. Motorhome in Sacramento, Northern California's cleanest used RVs. And this, this right here is exactly why I love my job. This is a 2010 Skyline Nomad, 18 foot ultralight with a slide out. It's a 2010, it's like brand new, and you don't have to pay full manufacturer retail. You get all the upgrades the previous owners put into it. You get a coach with all the kinks worked out and you don't have any depreciation to worry about. Just a really awesome travel trailer. Take a look at this. Only 18 feet long. If we stand back here, what makes this so nice is you've got the bullet front nose. Instead of the barn door, big square going down, makes it a lot more aerodynamic. You've got full pass-through storage. Look at the size of these storage doors. They're not the real tiny ones you often see on the little Fleetwoods. They go all the way through. And if you've been really shopping these ultralights, you'll notice you have uh, brands like your Starcrafts, and your Travel Stars, and your Jayco's, and they're all gonna have a big holding tank right there for your water, not near Skyline. They mount it right down below where it should be, lower to the center of the gravity, and it doesn't need all that storage space up, which is always a premium, especially in these little tiny trailers. Little storage on the outside here. This is the back of your uh, couch. We'll see that on the inside. Again, look at your graphics. They're not sun faded. Come back to the back. You've got an outdoor shower. There's your dump station right there. It's real close to your axle here. So you don't have to worry about tearing that out. You've got the tandem axles, which is way more safe than the singles going down the road. Storage for your sewer hose in your bumper. Spare tire, of course. And this is made out of really durable vacuum bonded fiberglass. I think I broke my hand. <laughs> You've got a two-step radius step entrance right onto the inside of the coach here. A really nice awning. You're buying this from the original owner. They said they've only pulled that awning out twice. Right there you've got outdoor speakers for your tunes. There's the other side of that storage compartment. Scissor stabilizer jacks down below. But this is really what the treat is. Let's take a look at this floor plan. We walk in right away, no carpet. Very easy to clean. You've got a sofa that'll make out into a bed. And this is a freestanding table. What's nice about this is it hides out of the way right behind your sofa here. But if you had a, a great sunny day like today and you wanted to take it out and use it for uh, countertop space outside right under your awning, you could. It just lifts right up. It's really lightweight. And then, of course, if you had some bad weather, you'd like to sit down inside neat. You could do that just right in front of your sofa. Queen size bed. And look at this. You have storage everywhere. You've got a storage axis here that's at pass through on the outside. Storage compartments in here. Perfect. If you guys are into reading, stick all your books down below. Maybe some bedding and some sheets. More overhead storage here. Another thing that's nice is this doesn't have that big bulky uh, second bunk bed that a lot of these guys put in here, which really takes up a lot of space, doesn't give you a lot of clearance here, so it feels like you're confined in a little coffin. Fantastic fan. These are a godsend. You turn these on when it's a little warm, and it sucks all the hot air right out through the top of your coach. And then if you really look, you can see you've got a max airflow vent cover. So you can actually leave that vent up in the rain or going down the road and you don't have to worry about it getting ripped off. AM FM CD player with your MP3 jack. So you've got uh, speakers inside your coach here and then of course we saw those on the outside. Two basin sink, a really great kitchen setup. What I absolutely love about this kitchen, look at that window. It's massive, it's a huge window, and you can sit out here, cook, and still keep an eye on that campsite, watch all the action. Right here are your gauges. 
you've got a direct spark ignition water heater, so all you do is flip a button, that thing comes on automatically. No having to fight a uh, pilot light on the outside. Not very fun, especially on a windy day. And then take a look at this. If you've been shopping these things, a lot of these ultralights, these little 18 footers, are only going to give you the little four or five cubic fridge that's about this size, but this much is eaten up by the, uh, the freezer. Well, your Skyline actually gives you the full size fridge and freezer. You can actually put stuff in this freezer other than ice cubes. Like, oh, I don't know, uh, Dryer's Ice Cream, one of my favorites. <laughs> This is your bathroom. You've got a great little shower here. It's a corner shower. You've got these little protective guards to keep splashes from coming on the outside. Really smart idea. And then of course, a medicine cabinet. It's a real wood medicine cabinet. Not one of those cheap plastic jobs you'll find in a lot of these. A lot more storage down below. Take a look at this. If you need a spot to hang your coat, right by your door. You've got a big closet. Right here's a huge pantry. Look how deep this is. It's actually usable. Place for your television right there. It's all central ducted air conditioning. So you can see you've got these really nice air ducts that go throughout your whole coach. Really distributes the air very well. Furnace down below. That furnace will keep this thing more than hot. You gotta be careful with those little furnaces because they really warm up. Just an absolutely perfect floor plan. Really lightweight. It's all aluminum framed. You don't have to worry about dry rot in your framing members. It's got the durable fiberglass sides. What more could you ask for guys? Come down and see this in person. You're not gonna regret it. Pictures do not do this guy justice. My name's Brandon. And we're with Mr. Motorhome in Sacramento, www.mrmotorhome.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.